On March 15th, Dead by Daylight released a new character called The Unknown. It's unknown to me why people still play this game, but hey, the kids need their thrills! Somewhere! Going outside is out of the question. It gives the Zoomers anxiety. Did you know that they can't even order lunch anymore? What is menu anxiety? Quotation marks. More Gen Z and Millennials have it. Poll. Thank you, New York Times, for reminding me just how completely foobard everything is. When ordering a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A throws you into a catatonic state. You know things are bad here in Rome. Anyway, sorry to get distracted. Well, a trans voice actor played both roles for said character of the unknown. A uh, male and female character, hell if I know. I lived in dungeons long forgotten. I lived in dungeons long forgotten. Well, anyway, the developers didn't show the voice actor the character. Some sort of rigmarole. Well, it just came out. And the character is a real gender bender, baby. And all hell broke loose. Trans actor who voiced Monster in Dead by Daylight. Game accuses the developer of transphobia. Well, that's it. Dead by Daylight's canceled. They're transphobic. In this day and age, I doubt developers have the balls to do anything to deliberately piss off the Alphabet Mafia. Let's be real here. When every video game company the second June rolls around, we have rainbows all over American Twitter. Not in the United Arab Emirate for some reason. <laughs> Frisky. The voice actor ran to Twitter to condemn whoever made this game. I don't even know who made it. Regarding my recent viral witch hanging, I voiced a character, the unknown, in Dead by Daylight. At the time of voicing it was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character that was no model and that the creature was supposed to be anamorphous. They had no model design before I recorded my lines. So it's my assumption that the design team took my medical history and my ability to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create a character model that encapsulates my medical history as trans and capitalizes on catering to the transphobic community. That's right. <laughs> People are flocking to get dead by daylight to be transphobic. That's what's going on. Exactly. Truly. Yes. They've sold a billion copies. It's very huge in the Middle East. I was tricked into voicing a stereotype since yesterday. I have been virally harassed for being trans by thousands of people since yesterday. Many folks in the trans community are up in arms over this and rightfully so. I feel that reparations from the team that deliberately tricked me is the only logical choice of action. Everything goes away with money. I'm so upset, so infuriated that people are comparing trans people to these clearly transphobic character skins. I'm sick of the word reparations. I've heard it too many times, at least with black people demanding reparations. There was some major actual injustice that lasted a few hundred years. Granted, the people that want reparations now have never worked on a plantation or have come close to picking cotton. Hell, the closest they came to picking cotton was getting a pair of dry fit socks for their Jordans. <laughs> captures the African-American experience. He's out of line, but he's right. You know, all this could have been avoided if the person demanded to see the character model, but instead, I'm pretty sure they saw the check and got a chance to be in a video game. They're like, yippee, hooray! Then this happened, and now they're completely distraught and unable to leave their bedroom. You know what we need? We need some Dylan Mulvaney music to really just pick me up, give me cheer, and bring me some trans joy. There were a few memes on Twitter. Uh, here's one that I think is very relatable to dating in 2024. Don't even talk to me unless you're over 6'2 and make six figures. Bye, bitch. But when Ricky Berwick came in and did his little meme, that's when shit really hit the fan. Your profile pic, you in real life. The trans community went DEFCON 1 on a cripple man that can't walk or even wipe his ass without assistance. Let that sink in. Frankly, this is Ricky being Ricky. We all know him for doing stuff like this for over 10 years now. This is who the guy is. He makes humorous little posts and goofy videos. Ricky's, oh, it's a guy who dressed up as Sonic. And the joke is he can't use his legs. <laughs> But he painted himself blue. And to be honest, he might not even have known the monster is voiced by a trans person. You think Ricky Berwick is spending all day keeping up with video game news on that level? Hell, maybe he did know. We don't know. And admittedly, it's funny. 
And it's true. For this day and age, whether the person's a woman or trans or not, how many times do you come across a woman who had a picture of like some animated character of herself that was cute? And then you saw her and she looked like a bus hitter or she looked like she was like really, really crazy old, like Indiana Jones in the Lost Ark old. Stop him! Now, of course, the Terminally Online can't take a single joke went after a crippled man. I repeat, they hunted down Ricky Berwick like he was goddamn Frankenstein. If you ever see the old Frankenstein movie, you know, when the people with the pitchforks, you know, they're chasing Frankenstein, he's like, ah! But imagine if it, Frankenstein was crippled in a wheelchair and people were chasing him and screaming transphobe. Able-bodied people that could walk and wipe their own ass freely got so mad at a crippled man that could barely crawl for a joke. They launched a full-blown campaign for a handicapped person on Twitter. Not surprised Ricky Burrick is transphobic. Man's a Genuine piece of shit. If any of you were under the assumption Ricky Berwick was actually a good person, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I know some normal people, you know, regular people that contact me sometimes and stuff, and they've talked to Ricky Berwick, and he was nothing but kind, cordial, and helpful to them. I guess I have to tell these people now privately that um, they shouldn't interact with Ricky Berwick despite how generous he's been with them because he made a very tasteless joke. Now he's one of the worst people to ever live. You know, there's Adolf Hitler, then there's Ricky Berwick, Goebbels, Judas Iscariot, Ricky Berwick. <laughs> In World War II, Ricky Berwick would have marched people into the earth dressed as a cripple clown. <laughs> uh, you probably have to edit that out. <laughs> Is Ricky transphobic? No, I inspired the character. Ironically, Ricky does really the character does look like Ricky. Ironically, people actually commented this tweet and said it was okay for him to make fun of himself, but it was not okay to make fun of other people. That's right. We are now defending a monster in a video game as if it were a real person. You've entered the autism zone. Do -do 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 -do. Ricky made a video response explaining that he was colorblind and couldn't tell that the PFP was supposed to be trans because it had the trans colors in it. Ricky, why is your phone blowing up? I posted a meme. What kind of meme did you post? Just, just a funny meme. What meme, Ricky? I, I, I it's uh, this. Oh my God. You posted that? What? He didn't see the hair color, Rick. I'm colorblind. What did you do, Ricky? I'm colorblind. What did you do? I can't see right. But that wasn't good enough for people. They wanted to see the cripple burn. A phrase you thought you'd never hear in 2024. Oh my God, I hate the internet. What I wouldn't give to be a successful musician or something or an actor. Drama Alert also covered the Ricky Berwick drama. And guess what happened? Drama Alert got reported on Twitter for transphobia as well. Did you know that the Twitter page is run by a trans person? Make it make sense. We've reached that point of no mental return. Ricky made one more video about deleting his post, and it was pretty funny. Honestly, Ricky, how did you not see the trans flag on the hair? I honestly didn't know that. Well, you should probably delete it. Well, it's a little too late to delete it. Why? If I delete it, then I would have to apologize. And then people will say, oh, he's guilty. He's backpedaling. Bro, that's not going to be me. Well, people think you're transphobic now. I wasn't trying to be transphobic. You know this. I love everybody. Yeah, except for bitches. Okay, except for bitches. Yeah, they belong on the street. Yeah, bitches suck. You should delete it. Right, I'm not deleting it. Take it from experience, Ricky. Delete it. I'm not deleting it. It's only going to make things worse. It's already worse. No. Do it. No. Do it. No. Delete it. I'm not deleting it. It's going to make things better. It won't make everything better. Do it, transphobe. God damn it! There! Now say you're sorry. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry. You gotta say you're sorry, Ricky! I'm not gonna say I'm sorry! Transphobe! 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 I'm sorry, okay? I'm never posting images again. Can we ban Twitter instead of TikTok? 
It was a good way to go about it, I guess, since he was going to delete it anyway. You might as well make it funny. I don't know. But it's sad to see Twitter go after a handicapped man who's just trying to make people laugh. Just trying to make memes. They found it so abhorrent and offensive that they had to go after him. Is this where we are now, where humor is subject to scrutiny and gender politics? To me, that is a clear sign of a mental decline in the rise of a police state. Where thoughts are forbidden and jokes are to be always safe and politically correct. For God's sakes, Ricky can't even piss on his own. I don't know. America's a stone's throw away from being as lame as Canada or England. Where if you call a cop a dumpy dump, arrest you. And on that day, I'll be moving to Japan or Argentina. Better start working on my Japanese. Konnichiwa. Hajime naste. Isa Gundam desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu.